The bus, uh, have you seen the front page of the paper? What? The movie Town News said we need more stories with heart. We have heart. Take Amy Russell's story, the show for me a curse. Why, it's got so much heart, the critics will cry their big fat eyes out. It stars the debonair Kevin Robson and the mysterious Sabrin Rock. Jacobs, roll the film. My name is Amy Russell, and I wrote the Shafamir curse. That was our last ball. No, what? I'll go get it. It's Miss Shafmir's house. Oh, it's game over, man. It's a big deal. Just go get it. Jeremy's friends couldn't believe that he was actually going to enter the house of creepy old Mrs. Shafmir. That old lady is totally psycho. Forget psycho. She's a vampire. Have you ever seen her come out during the day? I have to get this ball, all right? We'll get another ball. I have to get this one. It's autographed by Anton Manson. You let us play with an autographed ball. It's the only one I could find. If you weren't such a lousy pitcher, we'd still be playing with it. Jeremy, wait. Take this. Just in case. Yeah, that's really gonna help. Take a couple rocks. Don't worry about it. If you're not back in 15 minutes, I'll call the cops. As Jeremy snuck up to the Shafamir house, he was glad he had Lisa's rabbit foot. Tiny beads of sweat formed on Jeremy's forehead. Was risking a confrontation with Mrs. Shafamir too high a price to pay for a baseball? A powerful, musty smell filled Jeremy's nose as he felt his way around the dimly lit shed. Mommy, Mommy! Look, Amy, I brought you something. box was not extravagant, but the small ornament was special. So special, so captivating. There must have been some sort of secret to its past. We were just about to call the cops. Do you have my rabbit's foot? Forget the foot. Did you get the ball? The ball. Maybe that old lady got her fangs in him. Jeremy, are you okay? I'm fine. But you forgot your glove. Must be broken. Can you read what it says? To Amy, my angel. Love mom. It's beautiful. To Amy, my angel. Love mom. It's the same book. Let me get this straight. That music box is from Miss Shafamir's shed. And I keep seeing these visions because of it. 
What? Visions? Miss Shuffamere must have put some sort of curse on it. It's not a curse. Something's happened to Amy. It's the curse. You should never take these things from their resting place. I didn't have a choice. The box made me. Maybe I should take it back. Don't even think about it. Who knows what could happen? Jeremy, take the rabbit's foot. I don't want If you're not taking anything else, at least take the rabbit's foot. Please. Jeremy knew he had to get rid of the box, but the spirit in the box wouldn't let him go. Can you read what it says? To Amy, my Amy. I can't get any sleep. I have to get rid of it, no matter what it takes. Hey, are you guys playing or what? Jeremy, you don't want to do anything that'll disturb the spirit world. Listen, I don't care, all right? Okay? Yep. Yeah. Someone call 911. I'm fine. Jeremy, what are you doing? I'm going to talk to Mrs. Schaffner. I know what happened. Are you nuts? She'll kill you. No, she won't. I know she won't. It was almost over. If only Jeremy could gather up enough courage to actually confront Mrs. Schaffmere, a woman he didn't even know. Yes? You were here yesterday, weren't you? Yes, I was. Listen, Mrs. Schaffmere, I have to talk to you about this. Where? How did you get that? Please, let me explain. I didn't mean to take it, but the voices. I couldn't help myself. daughter. She spoke to me. I hit this big home run and... Jeremy began the whole story about the baseball the and the music window. box, how it captured him and his dreams. She was my daughter. She was my angel. I love you, Mommy. I always will. It was broken. It wouldn't play before.
please. Come again, Jeremy. I will. I promise. Jeremy! I believe this is yours. Jeremy felt really great. He'd made a new friend, and he'd brought happiness to Mrs. Schaffemir's life. If that ain't hot, what is? The boss, the critic is on the line. Excellent. Now roll the slides. 14-year-old Amy Russell loves mysteries because you never know what'll happen next. When Amy's not writing, you'll find her playing soccer, bring it, or spending time with the faithful watchdog, Chica. Love the story, Amy. Don't go away. Kid riding team Jocelyn Malero and Brandy Sorchensky have a story about nightmares and love. You want even more heart? How's this for more heart? Kid writing team Brandy Sorchensky and Jocelyn Malero wrote a beautiful story called Love Conquers All Fears. It stars the brooding Greg Architua and the sophisticated Sarah Lynn. I'll show those critics. Jacobs, roll the film! Hi, my name is Jocelyn Malero. Hello, my name is Brandy Sorchensky. And we wrote Love Conquers All Fears. I'm sorry. There's nothing we could do. Somebody just had to have their pizza in 30 minutes or less. You want to take this home? You want to take this home? The morning news is brought to you no. by Hoppa products. Remember, if it says Hoppa on the label, it's probably edible. Adam, you have to eat something. I'll get it. Adam and Jenny lived on their own. Their parents died in a car accident when Adam was young. Their car was hit by a pizza delivery truck. Adam, this is Michelle. She just moved here. She likes to bike, and since you're king of the road, I thought maybe... Would you like to come with us? Uh, no. I got stuff to do. He's a little grumpy in the morning. Yeah. Jenny, this is Michelle. Michelle, Jenny. Uh, she's just starting school with us tomorrow. Why don't you come back in the morning and uh, you and Adam can walk to school? Okay, <laughs> I'd like that. All right, see you later. Bye. She seemed really nice. Pretty, too. Yeah. She's coming back. You asked her to come back? Relax. You have a whole day to prepare yourself. She's walking you to school. Jenny, it's my life. And you need to get on with it. It's fine the way it is. I gotta get to work. So, you play any sports? I love sports. I play soccer and hockey and football. And... Well, do you? Yeah, sometimes. Okay, sports is covered. Let's move on to music. Nathan, why don't you tell her what kind of music I like? It was the first day of school. And to Adam's surprise, he and Michelle were in the same class. Please find your seats immediately. My name is Mr. Upsight, and I will be your homeroom teacher for this semester. More like Mr. Uptight. Look at his pants. <laughs> Adam Matthews. Uh, maybe you'd like to share your little joke with the rest of us. I was just telling Michelle what a great day it was. Oh, well, isn't that nice? You two can appreciate that all the more after school, huh? While in detention. Detention on the first day of school? 
Add one half hour to your time, Miss uh, Collins. It was my fault, Mr. Uptight. <laughs> Mr. Upsight. Okay, well, let me make one thing perfectly clear. You two are holding up the class, so let's see, that'll be two hours detention for the both of you after school. Now, anything else, Matthews? Adam felt really bad. He was just getting to know Michelle, and he'd already got her into trouble in the first few minutes of class. Good afternoon, students and teachers. Uh, the Capsule Club will meet in the Home Ec Lab tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Make sure to bring your records. Papa Meat and the school council are selling hot dogs in the cafeteria at lunch today. Also, people will be going to the football team. You're eating the surprise pudding? <laughs> I like surprises. <laughs> Last year's beet soup with a bit of sugar and jello thrown in. Surprise. What are you always so happy about? What's there to be depressed about? I'm sorry. Nathan told me about your parents. He did? I'll shut up if you don't want to talk about it. Maybe I should go, and I'll see you in detention. I'll be back in five minutes. That day, in detention, Adam realized that he was beginning to care a great deal for Michelle. I was thinking, I mean, maybe sometime. If you weren't busy or anything, maybe we could... What do you say we see a movie tonight? Tonight? My sister's working the night shift and I'm supposed to stay at home. Okay, um, how about I rent a movie and I bring it over? Sure. Then, Adam got scared. If he let himself care for Michelle, would she end up like his parents? Well, the day keeps the doctor away. Life is full of surprises, isn't it? Last night. Last night? Oh, I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> you forgot? Yeah. Sorry. Look, if you don't want to go out with me, that's fine. Just say so. If that's what you want. Did her up? None of your business. It's his heart. It's all petrified and hard. It's empty. It's a tragedy. What a senseless waste of a young life. There's nothing we can do. I have to call her. Hi, is Michelle there? 
Thanks. Adam, what's going on? She's in the hospital. What happened? Her mom didn't say. What should I do? Do you care about her? Can I help you? I'm looking for Michelle Collins. Adam. What are you doing here? It's Saturday, I volunteer. What are you doing here? I thought that your mom said that you were in the hospital. And I guess I kind of freaked. Uh -huh. Thanks for your concern. I didn't forget. What? About our date. I didn't forget. I just got really scared. I really like you, Michelle. I like you a lot. I get off work in half an hour. What do you say we go for lunch? Sure. For the first time in a long time, Adam felt truly happy. As long as there's no surprise pudding involved. <laughs> now that's hard. Even if it was petrified. Jacobs, roll the slides. Brownie Sorchensky and Justin Malero have always liked each other's writing, so they decided to work as a team. It wasn't always easy, but in the end, it all worked out, and they were left with more time to talk on the phone. Great job, Brandy and Jocelyn. Too much heart, not enough intestines? Critics, what a bunch of brainless bozos. More stories, boss. Send in your stories. They can be funny, they can have heart. We don't care. If they're incredible, we'll make them in a celluloid. Do you want to get your story on TV? Visit our website at www.storystudio.com or send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Incredible Story Studio, Box 470, Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada, S4P3A2.